What's up, YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug. I'm back again with my Kasori air fryer oven. And today, for you guys, we're going to make some air fryer baked chicken. So, I washed off my chicken, and the first thing that I'm going to do, since I'm not going to marinate um, this time, I'm going to poke some holes into my meat so that the seasoning could just get in. You don't have to do this guys but if you don't marinate it it's not it's, it's not going to be flavorful. Maybe on the outside it will but it's not going to be flavorful in the inside. So we're just going to poke some holes. Okay now that we got the holes in them I'm going to spray it with some oil. I happen to have avocado oil in my Evo oil sprayer. Link will be in the description. Or if your oil sprayer like mine needs some more oil, you can just pour some in. <laughs> I go ahead and give that a mix, guys. The reason why I do this is so that my um, my seasoning can stick to it, and that my chicken won't be dry. That nah, should be good enough. All right, guys. Shake this up. This is a new bottle. Got my go-to, which is pink salt, black pepper, and uh, garlic seasoning. Now, if you don't have this, of course, you could just do them separately. But link will be in the description because if you have not tried this, guys, it's the bomb. Okay. I'm also going to put some um, onion powder in there. And shout out to my local meat market one time. This is homemade onion powder. I don't even know what that means, but I guess it sounded good. <laughs> nah, they said they made it, so cool. And finally, just for some color, we're going to add some paprika. Real simple. Now, you can add some more seasoning. You could add some adobo to it. If that's what you're used to using. Sure. Do it. And then we're good to go. Now we're going to mix this up. Should look something like this, guys. So, I'm going to let this sit for five minutes while I get my um, racks together and all that good stuff. Make sure you're subscribed and you hit that bell. So you're notified when my next video drops and my online YouTube giveaways happen. I'm going to be using two racks today and I'm going to spray these out with Pam. Alright guys, so we're ready to put it into the Kasori. I'm glad I got all my thighs and legs in there. I thought I wouldn't be able to fit them all, but I got them. I crammed them all in there. <laughs> and by the way, this is 12 pieces of chicken. And just a quick reminder, guys, this air fryer oven works or can work off your network. Doesn't need to, but can work off your network Wi-Fi. You see that I'm connected to my Wi-Fi on my machine. But today, I'm just going to do it normal because some people may believe that you have to hook it up to your Wi-Fi for this machine to work, which is not the case. I'm just going to do it totally manual right now. Uh, and I am going to hit the chicken preset which is 420 for 24 minutes, which sounds about right. It does have the shake button um, illuminated, so that's going to alert me to shake at 12 minutes because shake does halfway through, which is what I do anyway. That seems correct to me. So I'm going to hit start, and I'll be back at 12. All right, guys. It's almost time to shake. I mean to rotate, actually. And because we're going to rotate, we are going to, I'm going to flip the top rack, put it to the bottom, take the bottom rack and just as is and put it to the top. Looking and smelling good though. This is the advantage of air frying baked chicken versus using your oven. Look at that right there, man. You just got to get the other side like that. Let's get it. All right, we're ready to roll. Let's 
close it back up. Now, guys, I'm sure this preset was probably designed for one rack of, of chicken. And since I have two and the burner's on the top, there's no way the amount of heat that's going to hit the top rack is going to hit the second. It's just impossible in this machine. You would have to have multiple heating sources, like maybe a heat source on the bottom as well as on the top, or the top and the middle and the back as well. But since it's on the top, it's impossible for both racks to get the same amount of heat. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and add... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and add about six minutes. Sorry, I forgot how to do that. I got so many air fryers I'll be forgetting. So let's go, let's go back, let's go up to like 16. And that, I think that should be enough. But we'll see. All right, guys, this is perfect. So this is the bottom rack. On the top, six minutes have passed, and that's done. You see the crust right there? That's perfect. So I'm going to flip this and then rotate it, put the bottom on the top. All right, let's close it up. All right, so 10 minutes. Let me put it back to 10. It was a little off, so 10. Yeah, that'd be fine. All right, guys. So I'm thinking, let me put shake on again, I'm thinking five minutes and five minutes should get this done. I'm thinking. So I'll be back at, at when there's five minutes left and we'll see what we're working with. All right, let's take a look. <laughs> Perfect, guys. So now all I gotta do is put this to the bottom, take the bottom to the top, another five minutes, we're done. So Axe Kasori oven to turn off. Okay. That's the grease left over, guys. Not a big deal. But you know what I'm going to say, right? This could be you. No flour. It's going to have a yeah, it's going to have a charred crunch to it. You've seen it. Just took the door off and just wiped down inside. As you see the sides are clean. I just took a paper towel, damp paper towel and wiped it down. So easy. Wipe the oil out with a paper towel really good. Then just took some um, warm water and a sponge, no soap. I'd say that's clean. And we'll just put that back in and put our door back on. Perfect. Shout out to the Dollar Tree one time. I got these foil sheets. You might have guessed it. We're going to go into overtime. Got my trusty toothpick. I'm going to make some holes. Random holes. Shout out to my low carvers. Y'all thought I forgot about you. I can never do that. I had some um, avocado oil on the bottom. I don't know if I'll need two bags, but we'll see. And I let this, I took these out the freezer as I was baking the chicken. 
the air fryer. Yeah, I think this is good. One is good. Rim pack is good then. That's cool. I took these out of the uh, freezer as I was cooking, and so it kind of defrosted a little bit because they would be all clumped up if I didn't do that. So what we want to do is cook them a little and drain the water. Let the water just drain away. Um, then we'll put the corn on top and cook it. And we're going to put this on the bottom because, as you know, broccoli does not need a lot of heat at all. If you, if, For instance, if you put this broccoli at 400 for 5 minutes, it, was, it would probably start to burn. But it'll get less heat because it's on the bottom, so all good. All right. All right, let's get this in there. Shout out to my viewers and subscribers that hit the like button way before my video is even finished. I appreciate that. All right, you saw the paper towel go up. That means it's time to eat, y'all. All in the air fryer. What do you guys say about that? Make sure you share this with your family and friends. Because this could be you. Well, I'm ready to eat. So let's see here. Uh, let's go for drumstick first. Look at that, guys. No flour, no egg wash. Just a couple quick seasonings. And I'm telling you, this is going to taste nice and juicy, flavorful, with a little, little char crust to it. You take the first bite. You got it? Mmm. Too much flavor, guys. The only way I could describe this is remember when your parents used to make like barbecue chicken in the oven and it'd be just so soft. If I put barbecue sauce on it, it would remind me of that. Take another bite. Mm. It's just so good. It's almost melting your mouth. This almost feels like I put it in the pressure cooker or a slow cooker. That's how tender it is. No, I'm not even going to give you this one. Do you see the juices right there? I'm going to give you this one. Come on now. You first. Mmm. So good. Have some of the skin, y'all. You got it? Mmm. Mmm. Nothing but flavor. All right, guys, let's have some of this cauliflower rice. Now, guys, if you do it this way, I promise you, you will not miss regular rice. You take the first bite. You got it? Mmm. It's too good, man. This is too good. If you never had Mexican street corn, guys, please try it. You got it? Mmm. Get some of this crunchy broccoli. You saw us season it. You first. You got it? Mmm. -hmm. Perfect. Well, this was fun, guys. I'm going to sit down and enjoy this. I'm going to leave everything that I did in the description so that you can follow along because I know the rotations and the flipping and all that stuff can be confusing. 
So I just lay it out there so you can just follow along. This can be done in any air fryer oven. I know that question is coming. Can I do it in my Power XL? Of course, it's a it's an air fryer oven. So yes. Now, the only thing is it because the XL and many other, or pr pretty much every other air fryer oven that I know cannot go over 400. We did the chicken at 420. So I would just add about you know three minutes, and it should be it should be fine. Or you may not even have to add, but I would just, I would add two to three minutes and you should be fine. But if you have a Kasori oven like this, then just follow what I did. Just hit the preset. Don't even follow what I did. Follow what the machine said and add six minutes. <laughs> if you're doing a second rack. And by the way, I'll leave a link in the description to this Kasori air fryer oven. Or you can pick it up on Amazon. It's a network um, air fryer oven, but you can use it manually just like anyone, um, any other air fryer. But if you want to use your cell phone to get to take advantage of some extra recipes or use your Echo device to turn it on and off or preheat it or whatever, hey, this is your guy. Shout out to my air fryer group on Facebook. We have over 65,000 members in there. If you have this air fryer oven or any air fryer, consider joining that group. We'd love to see what you're making in your air fryer. Or come in there and do a search and get recipes. And by the way, in that group this week, and this will be an entry in the contest, I'm having a contest on um, what recipe gets the most likes and comments in the Facebook group. And so I'm going to enter this, but of course disqualify myself because of course... I'm the leader. I can't win. That that would be silly. But I just want to show my group some support and enter this into the contest because I think this recipe is the bomb. But I'll, like I said, I'll leave a link into the description uh, to that group so you guys can join. Guys, if you have a um, Instagram or TikTok, look me up on those platforms, Cooking with Doug. But that's all I got. Hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe. If anything, thanks for just even looking at my video, y'all. It's Cooking with Doug, and we out.